Alrighty, hello, welcome to the Dead by Daylight weekly update for the week of June 25th, the last one of June. As always, we're starting off with the Shrine of Secrets with Agitation and Beasts of Prey, and Babysitter and Soul Guard for Survivors. Agitation is a Trapper Perk, and it's actually really nice because it does shave off a couple seconds bringing characters off to the hook. And when you're a slower character like Nurse or Hag, those couple extra seconds does help a lot believe it or not babysitter has its place i believe when you unhook someone they don't get scratch marks or pools of blood it's a nice anti-tunneling perk but puts you in the spotlight soul guard could be useful it was used a lot more in the past with major choice but it's been changed now and beast of prey is it's, it's not worth it it's one of the worst perks in the game uh, with that, there are no new outfits, sadly, for this week. However, they might still be coming out later, but we do have new bundles and everything, and we'll show that off. The weekly gift for this week is 250,000 blood points, which is a lot better than the 60,000 from last week. We also have new bundles. The weekly charm bundle is Survivor and Fairview High themed which I want to say is Legion themed. It looks like it's particularly Susie themed, which is pretty cool if you're a Susie fan. The weekly dev choice bundle is hot. Yes, it's everyone that features a hat. We got the cowboy hat for Jake. We got the maid hook on you. I was going to say made for this, which is a perk. Uh, for the spirit, honestly, that whole outfit's gorgeous. Um, we're in bundles. The uh, Panama hat for Adam. The uh, I'm gonna call her Eugen Elodie hat. The wide brim hat, which is one of my favorite outfits on her. The flimsy straw hat for Dwight. The floppy hat for Fang Min, which is honestly my favorite head for Fang Min. As well and not least, the Onyx Sun hat for Michaela. Someone has a hat fetish this week. Um, in addition to that, last week there was an update to the shop. I just missed it because it didn't tell me about it. I didn't look at the news. Old Rift outfits are now available. We have Ashy Slashy, which used to be only available through the Rift. You can now purchase this for the allowed price. Um, I do not know the price. It's this rarity. I believe that is the $15 tier. You do not get the deep rift outfit though. Uh, as well as we have the rebel chief for Thalita. That is now available. You also have the Rebellious Tactician for Renato. Which I feel like these just came out. So them being in the store over other ones, I'm a little shocked about. We have the Ruthless Insanity for the Doctor. And last but not least, we got Dark Hero School Merchant. I know people's feelings about Skull Merchant. There might be a new skin update for later in the week. However, we do not know. There is a new PTB out later today um, that features the new Survivor that is licensed. We will have a different... Um, uh, that's going to be, frankly, everywhere. If you do not want to know about the PTB, this would be the time to skip it. But the new PTB will be coming yeah. out with an update for... The knight is getting a lot of base kit upgrades. His knight, his add-ons are getting reworked. Singularity is getting retooled a lot again. There's going to be new map variations for Mount Ormond, the family Yoka, uh, Yamamoka. Um, they're fixing parts of the Forgotten Ruin map to add pallets on the ground level. Apparently there weren't zones that weren't spawning. 
Um, and they updated some of the variation of the map the tiles for the uh, Cold One Farms. Um, in addition to the PTP, there's also a new survivor, which is going to be Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series. She will be a new license, and it will be a, it's not a chapter, it's technically a paragraph, it's one character. She will be, I believe they're $4.99 or $6.99 USD. She has three new perks. First perk is called Finesse, which is when you are healthy, the perk goes on cooldown after performing a fast vault. Your vaults are now faster for 20, you for 20% faster. And that will be for a certain time while healthy. A uh, new perk for called Harden is after unlocking a chest, cleansing, or blessing a totem, the perk activates, giving you a token up to a maximum of one that the next time you would scream, you will reveal the core killer's aura for five seconds instead of screaming. And her new perk specialist is each time you open or rummage through a chest, you'll gain one token up to three tokens. And when you get a great skill check for each token you have, you'll re do the maximum require generator progress by 4%. Meaning if you search three chests, you will get a total of 12%. That is not required to do the generator. Basically a brand new part. That plus invocation in a brand new part. Oh, I'm a little up scared about that. There's also going to be killer and survivor perk updates. That was a part of the new of the last developer update. Uh, it's a lot of cooldowns and orders are just going down a lot of retooling and it's really nice and I'm excited for it. The, uh, be sure to check out the PTB patch notes for that and I'll link that in the description. Till next time, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.